Hey Gemini gang, what's happening? All Gemini placements, take what resonates, leave the rest. Take it how it resonates with your situation, okay? Personal readings are in the description box. Hit those likes, hit that subscribe. You guys, y'all know what it is. My social medias are in the description box, you guys. Also, my new channel is up and I have my first video up. <laughs> I post on Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday on my other channel. So, shout out to those that have already subscribed, y'all. Y'all get to see me roll the channel from scratch. Okay, this is like totally new to me. I love it. I love starting over. Probably one of the few people that like starting over. <laughs> Balance, Gemini. So, it says, I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. Okay. So something is needing your balance, Geminis, or something is needing, be, needing to be balanced out for you. Abundance? Let me find out, Geminis. <laughs> and then we have peace here on the bottom. I love to see it, Geminis. So I'm a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. Okay, so let's see what's going on, Gemini. Because I've been seeing this five pinnacles a lot for y'all. So we need to see what's going on. Um with your life, with your prosperity, with your love. Okay, so I'll take the magician as well, since the magician showed its face. The sun flipped over right on top of this magician card. Um, baby. Now with the seven of swords here though, Gemini, do you feel like you don't deserve something? You feel like you have imposter syndrome. Ace of swords, yeah. It's those thoughts, Gemini. I feel like a lot of you, your thoughts might um, tell you that you don't deserve something or um you know that you're not worthy of something gemini's but you are you are i love it i love seeing this magician here because it's about manifestation um and of course it's it's mercury in the tarot which is gemini and virgo so i feel like gemini's whatever it is you are working on i feel like keep your positive thoughts of keep your thoughts positive about that thing um whether it's love whether it's uh, career work or whatever the case may be like I'll use my my other channel as an example of me literally starting it from ground zero you guys so it's going to be important for me to um you know keep my thoughts positive about what's going on but also not only do you set a good intention but you put in the action behind it to make it come to life Gemini's because the spirit universe God or Whatever it is that you believe, Gemini's, follows your lead. Okay, so if you say, Spirit, I want to have, I want my business to be successful. You know, I want to bring in, you know, 10K a month on my business, right? And you don't do any of the work, then how, how is Spirit going to follow your lead? Spirit's going to give you the momentum. Uh, well, Spirit's going to follow your momentum. Gemini's if that makes sense so far I'm seeing you getting something that you have manifested child <laughs> but try not to feel like you don't deserve something Gemini's mm -hmm. the hermit more Virgo energy some of you may be in this Virgo energy I'm seeing the eight of pentacles on the bottom well I lost it but I saw the eight of pentacles on the bottom of the deck so it gives me a vibe that some of you may be spending time alone or like really focused on something and there's nothing wrong with that I like seeing the hermit next to the magician because that's somebody that's very very intentional um Gemini that's somebody that's really putting in the work and I feel like a lot of you guys might be um in in this this solitude and this brainstorming energy of um what it is that you want out of life um you know out of a situation Gemini's and I feel like once you do that you will be uh you'll get exactly what it is that you want so just be mindful of of 
what you're manifesting to Gemini's to try not to dwell too much on negativity or things that aren't going well in your life because that's kind of the reason why I feel like I keep seeing that five of Pentacles because sometimes a five of Pentacles can represent coming from a place of lack all the time it doesn't necessarily mean that you know you're gonna lose your job or some of you that is the case you did lose a job or you left or whatever the case may be but I feel like some of you may be thinking coming from a place of lack or someone in your energy is Gemini's mm -hmm. almost saw that five of cups flip over thank you spirits there's that strength card again mm -hmm. yes there's a two of cups again five of wands ace of cups and the king of cups oh wow okay then love coming your way um Gemini's if that is what you are wanting I feel like you do have a connection coming uh after some patience on your end I feel like it's a lot of patience is going to be needed um Gemini's like I said I feel like you're you're needing patience with yourself you're needing compassion with yourself you're needing self-love for a lot of you um in order to attract the type of love that you are wanting or that you are desiring again child that seven of swords some of you gemini's now and be totally honest with yourselves gemini's nine of pentacles on the bottom do you feel like you don't deserve uh happiness or do you feel like you don't um you don't deserve to to get what you want out of life or you uh you don't feel worthy of of good things or or great things in your life sometimes that can block you from your blessings gemini's if you feel like you don't deserve something um gemini's the high priestess yeah those the thoughts that you have in your head gemini's are not true so stop think stop um entertaining these the negative thoughts in your head because they're not true gemini it's the strip card on the bottom again yes i feel like have love for yourself tlc for yourself the same energy that you give to others gemini so when you start thinking you start thinking negatively about yourself like i'm never going to get out of this situation and things never work out for me and i always end up back here type of thing like switch that around switch that energy around gemini because what i'm seeing here is someone that has the potential to manifest whatever it is that they want in this life but they feel like they don't deserve it or they have this imposter syndrome uh gemini's for others of you you're meant to like inspire others you're meant to be in the limelight but you may avoid this i feel like some of you avoid uh taking leadership roles and leadership positions as well um, because of a confidence thing. Could be something spiritual too for some of you. Doing spiritual work of some sort. The judgment. Holy shit. <laughs> the ten of swords. Yeah. Gemini's, whatever it is you feel like you're not ready for, you are ready for it. Whatever you feel like you're not ready for, you need to just do it. Like, what? what is the problem? Well, I know what the problem is. It's your thinking. It's you feeling like you're not good enough. It's you feeling like you don't deserve it. It's you feeling like you're not worthy. So you, you need to switch that energy around because like I said, um, spirit, God, the universe is going to be following you. Follows you always. Okay. So if your energy is, oh, you know, I want the, I want to write a book and publish it. and But then in your energy, it's like you feel like you don't deserve it or you feel like nobody's going to read it like that's what's going to happen gemini's i feel like a lot of you guys are really needing to learn how to um navigate your energy um be intentional about your manifestations as well um gemini's but i'm seeing something here for some of you you are in hermit mode or you're needing to spend some time alone to gather what it, exactly what it is that you want um 
Gemini's, but I'm seeing some enlightenment for you. Some huge enlightenment. But this could also represent someone too in your energy as well. So if this is a love connection, I feel like someone may have gotten some type of epiphany or some type of uh, enlightenment in their lonesome. Gemini's in there a long time because you could be dealing with someone that they feel like they don't deserve happiness or they self-sabotage um, connections or things like that. Well, something's too good. They feel like something's too good to be true because they're not used to it. Ciao. <laughs> Six of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. Love to see it. Yeah, some of you guys are meant to be doing something like either um in the limelight of some in some way or um helping others in some way gemini's and like i've said in other readings like using your story or using your struggles and, and hardships to help others overcome theirs excuse me if that makes sense um gemini's so and if this is a love connection, I feel like someone is feeling like um, you two can overcome anything. You know, despite what is going on in, in y'all's connection right now, I feel like this person may feel like you can overcome anything. And I also feel like Gemini's, I feel like the way you see yourself and the way other people see you is two totally different things. Two totally different things. Because, and this is just an example, okay, because it's, it's not going to resonate with all of you. But some of you may feel like you're less attractive than you are. Um, you're less prosperous than you are. You're less talented than you are. But then you have people around, around you that think that you're an inspiration. That feel like you are dope as fuck, Gemini's. So I feel like the way you see, the way you see you is different than the way other people see you. I feel like other people see you in a very positive way, in a very, even if they don't show it or express it, um, Gemini's, they see you in a very positive way that you may not see. Four of Swords, mm-hmm, yeah. I feel like that is kind of some, because uh, a Four of Swords can be about uh, anxiety, can be about um, stress as well. Um, Gemini so some of you could be stressed you could be in some type of anxiety regarding uh, some type of project you're working on regarding a love situation take it how it resonates um, Gemini's but I also feel like too some of you avoiding this kind of goes back to what I've said earlier like you avoiding um, taking more front roles that are on the front line if that makes sense Gemini's Mm-hmm. <laughs> Queen of Swords, love to see it, Gemini's. Communication. You you learning how to communicate, uh, Gemini's. Or are you um balancing your intuition with your logic? That's alchemy. There's that five of pentacles. I knew it. I knew we were gonna see this. Yeah, Gemini's. You ooh, there's that nine of swords. I knew it, Gemini's. I knew this Five of Pentacles was going to come out. So I feel like with this, um, a lot of you guys are working on your thought process. And if you're not, I feel like Spirit is advising you to. Because I feel like the Five of Pentacles in this reading is represents a, a lack mentality. A mentality of things, al things always go bad for me. And... You know, you also have to pay attention to your, if you're having money problems, Gemini's, and again, this could be someone in your energy, okay? So take it how it resonates. But if you're having money problems, you need to pay attention to your thoughts that you have around money. That's very, very important because nine times out of ten, Gemini's, if you're having a money problem, it is because that there's something off about your thoughts regarding money. Okay, so you need to pay very, very close attention to that um, because that'll completely change your um, that'll completely change your your situation, um, Gemini's. So that that's the vibe. There's there's something here that you're needing to use your mind. Whatever it is uh, with your mind, Gemini, that's what's going to get you out of whatever situation you're in. And I feel like with you guys in this hermit mode or 
whatever the case may be, you're going to come to this realization. You're going to come to the realization that, yeah, I have been um, not having the best thoughts about myself. I have been having, and this this is another thing too, and I, and I get on people about this when I'm, when they're around me. So yeah, people be like, yeah, Genesis, you aggravating as fuck sometimes. But when, when I'm out and people are calling themselves broke, and I'm like, why are you calling yourself that? Because you're manifesting that. So of course it, it of course you might be broke because you keep saying that about yourself, um, Gemini's, or calling their kids their broke best friend. Like you have to be very mindful of the words that you're using. It's fun and all of that, but you know you you have to be really careful of of the wording that you're using because that's the type of stuff that is manifesting. Three of Pentacles, but I'm also seeing the Devil and the Ten of Pentacles. So I can't say this is totally bad. And the reason why is, you know, I told you guys in other readings, in other readings, that the Devil likes nice shit. So I feel like there's going to come a time, Gemini's, where you are going to be living a, a much better lifestyle than you are right now. So just prepare. Just get ready, Gemini's. For some of you, you're going to start collaborating with other people. Um, uh, Gemini's, you have a lot more support than you realize. I just feel like you may not see, Gemini's, what other people see in you. That's what I'm getting here. You feel like you see yourself one way and other people see you, you, see you in another way. Um, and I feel like, Gemini, sometimes the way that you see yourself is negative but people really like feel like you're great Gemini feel like feel like you're amazing so run with it <laughs> that's all I gotta say about that yeah something you've been wanting Gemini is it's like right here at your fingertips it's like right here at your fingertips but you gotta you have to know that you deserve this like you deserve everything great you deserve everything that you want um Gemini's let's get a couple of these and I'm gonna wrap this up ah, I like to pull these when I get my abundance Ooh, child I love it let me get one more <laughs> I love it. Oh man, Gemini's. <laughs> Let me get one more spirit. One more. I had. A, was there a reading I did where I said something about overcoming? <laughs> yes love it okay so this is talking about money blocks so this makes sense this is on the bottom of the deck which is anchor and it says money blocks being stuck and financially sound which is what i've been talking about gemini's and then on a career it says water related travel and stable for now so that's the vibe i get with this five of pentacles and stuff is your mindset your thinking some of you guys are struggling um, but I feel like you can get yourself out of the situation that you're in, Gemini's. That is pretty much that in a nutshell. So we have chess, okay? And it says money strategy, yes. Why spending and long game? Career is military, leader, and think it through. So didn't I say something about leadership, Gemini's? I said something about leadership. Then we have the crown, this is so the first thing it says overcoming obstacles, which again, I feel like Gemini's is a lot of ob you've, you've had a lot of obstacles and I feel like you're going to, like I said, overcome them. Like I've been saying the entire reading. Um, then it says power play and wealth under career it says owner boss taking charge and making progress. I'm telling you, Gemini's, you have the power to get yourself out of whatever this is. You have the power to do it. And then we have coins, baby, look, I told you, money coming in, wealth and good investment. I'm telling you, Gemini's, that I feel like that's the devil in the Ten of Pentacles that we saw over here. 
Um, and then career says sales and finance, getting a raise and lucky. Told you. Do you have a nice? Thank you for watching, y'all. Hit those likes, hit those likes, hit those likes. Peace out.